and welcome to the surprise game. So, Hi. Uh, it's not going to be much of a surprise because it's all in the title and everything. We're playing Long Live the Queen. It's a favourite game of mine. Uh, available Steam, GOG, Linux, Mac, Windows. It's available everywhere. It's a choose your own adventure story where you have to save uh, our old Madge, the Queen, from any number of ill-fated attempts. So, uh, without further ado, I've got my cup of tea. I've got my cup of English brew. Cup of English brew. Mm. <laughs> I've got my cup of English brew before we save old Madge. <laughs> <sighs> so, let's see. Any of you guys in the chat have made it back? Let's... Uh... Okay. Um, oh, and I'll just make sure to send out the old social media link before we crack on. Okay, cool. Oh. Right. Excellent. So, without further ado, let's crack on with the story. Uh, you can see my screen okay there, Matt, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Right. Right, Yoslin, King Jow Dowager, Duke of Calaris. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. <laughs> I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. She seems so enthused. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll, you'll learn quickly and make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. Oh, so it's an expectation placed upon her. Okay. This is not what mother would have wanted. It's not what mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us. On you. Oh gosh, that's a lot of pressure. I will be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Okay. So this is the begin. This is the beginning of the game. This is the beginning right. of the game. So, I've played this before. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll, get, we'll not need to worry too much about the old tutorial now. The real question is, what kind of character? Oh gosh, what angle are we going to take? Now, uh, what's our current mood? Our current mood is very depressed because, of course. Our mother has just died, so... How did she die? Did she just, like, die of natural causes? Do we know? We do know through spoilers and having played this game previously, it's magic-related. So... Oh, right. That's why our dad has a deep distrust of magic. Right. Makes sense. So... How do we want to play? Who? What kind of queen do we want to be? Um... We can be brutal, we could be warmongering, we could be smart, we could be kind, we could be faithful. Right, so what do we wanna what do we wanna prioritize? While still remaining strong in all the other areas, I guess. Maybe. Hmm. Uh, this one's not easy. <laughs> um, Starting's the hardest part. I seem to recall that we did military last time, and we died in the first war. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. We what's, do... what's there a bonus to? There's a bonus to expression and animal handling. Oh boy. Wow. We That's could become fun. better animal handlers. Um, we could do some intrigue, foreign affairs, ciphering. Internal affairs. 
Um. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Should we just do intel intellect or just prioritize intellect first? So, yeah, well, I, I suppose so, unless we want... What have we not done before? I don't even remember. We haven't done a willing, a winning military maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've we've won plenty of battles with magic through intimidation. So it would make sense to do some intrigue, maybe internal and foreign affairs, I guess. Yeah. Since we're not penalised for them. So, uh, I'm not going to read all of the um, as we're learning. But we can. Okay, we're learning about the Duke of Sedna. Potential marriage material, I hear. Mm-hmm. So, what's all that noise about outside? Who's here? Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and my uncle. Uh, darling, we were so terribly <laughs> sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Fidelia. Thank you. You look well, niece. <laughs> Hi, Lottie. Oh, it's Charlotte. Hey, Lottie, hey, I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep, Mummy said we'd be here all month. Oh, cheerful, that's good. Maybe we'll have some, some time to talk later. Hmm. Okay, so what are we going to do for the weekend? We can talk to our father, because he's a grim fucker. Or we can <laughs> talk to Charlotte and Lady Merva. Well, since they're visiting and they're only here for a month and her father will probably be here forever. Maybe we should talk to Sharp. We could we could we've got a mood here. We can talk we can cover the mood. So if we get a minus one to depressed, then we get to be But then we unlock her I don't know, we unlock some plot there, don't we? Okay, should we visit Charlotte then? I think she'll get us out. Well, there. they're all, yeah, they're only here. They, she'll probably cheer us up. So, I hope so. Maybe we should just visit Charlotte. All right, I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. You should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is dot, something dot, dot. like this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. Helicopter, Mom. <laughs> I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. But at least we can have fun together here. Yay! Friends. Friends. And what's the mood like? Afraid. Uh, what? Afraid. What the heck? Hmm. Um, I'm afraid of Charlotte's mom. <laughs> Well, she is the Lady of Merva, not to be trifled with. So, what skills do we have? We have a bonus to agility and faith. But we have a penalty to intrigue. Oh, no. And a penalty to military. But we do have... Ah, but wow, we can do public speaking, court manners... They're never. They're, they're always quite useful. Or we could go mystical. We could go meditation, divination. Go mad into the magic. Maybe we should go. Maybe we should go mad to the magic. Mad to the magic. Rebel against our father doesn't like magic. Okay, so we'll go meditation, divination, double yeah, divination, let's do that. divination law. Oh, sure. Um. We'll do divination, meditation. Let's see what that gets us. I'll just, I'll just put in the chat that we're starting to. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. We're not doing too bad with our bonus at Afraid. 15 points. <gasps> what's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? <laughs> oh, it's Juliana, the Duchess of Ursel. I've come to pay my respects in honour of your mother. You have no That's respect or honour. It's because Rah. of you and your powers that my wife is dead. Yeah, Somebody's... see? <laughs> yeah, it's like little Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? I am a lumen, as was she. And like every human, lumen, I'm willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. 
She has green eyes and blue hair. Mm. Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. Oh, God. Uh, that is for the crown princess to decide. All right, yeah. All right, Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. Um... I think we should let her stay. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to go magic. all in with the magic, so... Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. She stays, plus one to Willful, as you I am, I am, I am deciding my fate here. We are. We are a tenacious young princess, and we will make sure that we will be respected. Okay. Absolutely. Let's, uh, so what we've got here, we've got Juliana, Duchess of Ursel, we've got Charlotte. Um, yeah, it might be worth talking to Charlotte again. Yeah. Well, I usually talk to Duchess of Ursel. Well, yeah, if we want to get, I don't usually get it. talk to Charlotte two times in a row, and she usually leaves at this stage. Ooh. So something different is probably going to happen. Maybe that's what I'm. Hoping, but it's well, not. Well, she's only here for a month, right? She's here until the next turn in. and then she leaves. Oh. So, if we want to visit. Well, if Juliana's not going away, we can visit Charlotte one more That's time. Right. Okay, let's, let's see. What... Oh, and we can ask her about lumens. Um, This is interesting. So, she, uh, Dad was really angry at the Duchess of Ursel. Yeah. Mommy says people are scared of lumens because they're jealous. They used to, there used to be lots of them in Nova, but there aren't any more. Why not? I don't know. Maybe someone banned them. Oh my god! Her eyes are red. Not <laughs> cool. Not cool. Uh, All right, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go put laundry in quick. I'll be back. Okay, in you're gonna go here. put laundry in. I'll work out what. Uh, I'll stick on the the path next? of faith. I think. Okay. All okay, right. Cool. Yeah. I'll be back. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Um, so our mood is afraid, still afraid. I guess two in law. That's like the. That's like the ex uh, the expected, um, you know, where you'd be. I think, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Makes sense. I think. So. Classes. Uh, we'll do. Divination and law. Since it gives us the boost. So basically with divination you can learn how to tell the future. Okay. He loves me. He loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really. I just like to play with the flowers. All of a sudden the Duchess of Ursel rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. Not at you, at your feet. <gasps> Princess, don't move. Hold still. Oh no, composure failed. Um, you still want to hold, but you don't have the composure to hold your position without peeking. Uh, you look down where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass. You can't help it, you squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No. Your cousin pushes you aside and the lake's and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. Body! Sorry, I was drinking a cup of tea as I was reading that. Uh, too late, Juliana swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. Oh, what's going on out here? Your daughter's been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get her a herbalist right away. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't feel good. We will be returning home to Merva immediately. Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. 
Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know. <gasps> okay. That's a problem. Now, um, DG Brewster. Did you say that um, Matt's mic was a little bit on the loud side? Because I can... Uh, I can try and work on that. Um... Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, I think it keeps adjusting my yeah, it keeps adjusting my microphone back down to there, so I can just lower the Chromium microphone a little bit. Obviously, we'll have to wait for Matt to get back. But that should be okay. Okay. So, um, probably better off talking to the Duchess Ursel. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. Passed a law uh, check. A lumen crystal? No. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you. Now accept that your king may be keeping it from you. Do you have a crystal? Of course. She holds out her hands, light flickers above her bosom, and then, with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. You reach out to touch it, and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. Hmm. Okay. And I think you need presence to get the lumen crystal. Hmm. Well, we're still afraid. So we're better going for some meditation and lore, I think. And we unlocked a new outfit, which is good. Okay, so the castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zara and their parents gone. It's certainly not empty though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was so worried about Charlotte after that snake bit her. But her mother said she's okay, so I guess it turned out all right. Maybe she has a guardian angel. Hooray. Okay, so. We need to talk to our father. Dad, what happened to Mum's Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine. Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want it to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want. But for now, you're still a child. Oh, he's not letting us... He's not, he's not letting us... Um... Hmm... That's the problem. Okay, so... Let's check out the new outfit, the new threads, at least. Priestess's robe. Good oh. Pretty snazzy, don't you think? So our skills thus far... Ah, let's see. Um, hmm. Tempting to go to to load it all into divination now. Reflexes don't hurt. Composure. D um. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Any ideas from the chat are always welcome. If you have any particular idea about which direction you wish the crown to turn, 
I'm just, just mulling over this sheet now. We could wait out magic. We could do some learning about economics. But, uh, I mean, we could be a very faith-based, magic-based character. Uh, let's put some points into public speaking, court manners, I think. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know what gets conversation up. What what convers um what mood? Long live the so I'm going to bring up the mood guide. At least that way we know what to do for what particular things. The mood guide is is definitely a um, useful tool. No, that's not the one I wanted. on the old wiki. Moods, there we go. Oh, I think that's Matt back from... Holy mystical. <laughs> Hello, okay, so we've done a little in... Um, in... Um, mystical, right? In mystical, that's right. Now... Um, guys in the chat, can you just let us know if um, the volumes are okay? Uh, can you just count to ten for me, Matt, just to let me take a gauge of the volume? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that seems about right. Um... Okay, so uh, we're, yeah, we're up to we're up to quite high as it seems in the um, we're we're pretty high up in the uh, in in the mystical department. So I was thinking maybe we could focus on our conversation and expression skills. Yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, and DG Brewster says that's much better. So cool. If if the volume, um, sometimes there are funny issues with the auto leveling of the chat and all that. So if there are con more problems with the volume, just give me a shout and I'll tweak the the volume settings. Okay. So um, now for social skills, for things like conversation, uh, conversation and royal demeanor. Um, so cheerful and lonely helps with conversation. All right. So we, we can focus on some conversation skills. Sounds good. Okay, good. So conversation, conversation. Public speaking, court manners. Why not? Let's go with... Oh, and let's save it. Um, what, what kind of um, will be... Uh, Charming and spiritual. Okay, that's what I'll that's what we'll be. Charming and spiritual. Okay. One of the maids approaches you for your attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. Sedna, that's in Talassi, the domain to our southeast. Oh, okay. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of, deeply regret, best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Court manor success! It might not be appropriate for me to wear a man's gift in public. People think might think it meant something. <gasps> <laughs> Okay, so... Oh, it's Joshua Chow from Texas Oh, USA. has Josh joined us? Yes, hey, guys. Yes. So, uh, welcome not only Matt to the chat, but also with Josh. So, Josh, we're still very very much in the very early early stages of the game. Um, 
we're going to go with a spiritual kind of charismatic character. So at the moment, we're working out whether or not the Duke, we, whether or not we should accept the Duke of Sedna's uh, marriage proposal. I'm not sure whether or not we should take it. Oh, uh, Josh, is your microphone on? You're a bit quiet, I think. Is my microphone on? Oh, it's on, but you're very faint. Oh, okay. Um, what do you think, Matt? Should we wear it? I don't think we should. Uh, I think we should keep our options so. open. I think that. I think that. I don't think that she wants to wear it. No. All right, let's not wear it. It's important to maintain the proper image. It is. <laughs> as much as some PR involved in this, even if we don't like it. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. What's our mood? We need to be more cheerful. Oh, okay. Cheerful or lonely? Or that angry and lonely? What makes us angry? Oh, willful and angry. Willful and angry. We're already a little bit willful. Lonely and cheerful? Yeah, lonely and cheerful is kind of what we need. Okay, she looks startled. She does. But she has a way to defend herself with how much mystical power she has. We'll keep. We'll put two points into flattery. Should we put two points into flattery and and keep the um, the social skills on the rise? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Flattery up to twenty-two. Okay, as you're walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Ursel. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice that seated beside her is a woman in robes of a priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. She looks like she's busy. You turn and walk in a different direction as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. <gasps> Was that a servant? A thief? Oh my gosh. Or an assassin? Um, should we call the guards? Should we look over the hedge? We can, I think we can look over the hedge. Don't we need like a skill check to like, are we going to like fall or something? If, if I can't remember. I don't think we'll fall or die. Sure, let's look. No, well, we failed the climbing check. Oh, darn. <laughs> ah, well, they've gone. Uh, what's our so mood much, then? Much, so much for that. Lonely and cheerful, or less afraid. We'll do lonely and cheerful again. But I still think we're afraid. Okay, here's an interesting plan. I've got an interesting plan. Um, I think divination is useful enough that it's worth putting a double a double divination now and focus now that we've got the boat with the boost I think if we do double divination we'll be super holy and then we can focus on conversation how does that sound to you Matt? Sounds good. Let's do it. Cool. Is Ch uh, have we lost Chow? No, I'm here. He just turned his camera off. Oh right, it's okay. Yes, it's st still very faint, Chow. Um, is there something you could do about your microphone? Hmm. Are you using an actual microphone, or are you using like the computer one? I'm just using my laptop's microphone. Well, it, the, the quality is, is fine, it's just the, um, the uh, just the, just the volume. Uh, hello, Mr. Apples, glad you decided to join us. This game is Long Live the Queen. We are 
hoping to help our queen live long and prosper. Um, so, yeah, I think if we if we whack our two points into divination, we can start like predicting the future, and then we can focus on our our social skills. So we're yeah we're up to like seventy two with with the holiness. As you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down, holding a towering pile of linen. Oh 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 oh! Elegance failed. Re uh, reflexes oh, no. failed. Oh no! Uh, before you can react, she barrels into you, sending you and the sheets flying. Oh no! Oh, my lady, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um. So this is a little commoner versus noble check. So if we apologise to Alice, uh, the commoners like us, but the nobility don't. And then punishing her, the commoners hate us, the nobility approve. So I think we should apologise. Just yeah, let's empathise with the with the commoners. <laughs> or just yeah, be, you know, not not be rude when when we walk into them, I guess. So. Right. Um, and Alice doesn't necessarily like this. It's like when you try and give her a gift later on in the game. She do she also doesn't like it because it's um, it makes her feel uncomfortable, I guess, because it's a breaking of protocol. Okay, so what is our mood now? I think it might be uh, beneficial to actually have a bit of a crafty prey. <laughs> oh, no, oh, Mr. Apples. Okay, so <laughs> if we attend the service, we'll become a little bit less afraid. Um, do we have any other bonuses? Will we get some to agility? But if we're going to focus on magic, let's do public speaking court manners, I think. Okay. Okay, there is a man here to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. Oh. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters which can be moved and reused. Like I need braille. to borrow 875 lassie to assemble the metal and a factory to mould and cast the type. With this system, we will be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now and make copies to send all over the world. But we failed production and trade. I don't know much oh. about factories or trade. Would that really be worthwhile? We're not interested. Ah, oh. we failed oh. the check. We can't make a decision. Though. We, we failed, failed the, check. the check. Bummer. But. But. I think. What's our mood? We're lonely. Which gives us a boost to public speaking, court manners and flattery. Hooray. Okay. Public. We need to get all of these up to 25. So public speaking, court manners. Definitely to go. She looks tired. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Bainey and Duke of Marie. Oh, this guy. Not this guy. He's a twat. Uh, <laughs> he's always after something, the slimy your, git. This your guy. It's your twat voice. Is, yeah. <laughs> your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. <laughs> Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Inixian occupation of my county of Imbrium has gone on for too long. Now is the time for pushback. 
I know there's been some problems with Ixion, but I just don't know the details. I guess they're <laughs> occupying Southern Marie. I don't know anything about the military either, but I don't want to fight. There must be a peaceful way to settle this. I'll send for diplomats from Ixion and try to come to some arrangement. Thank you, your highness. Look if I might say so, you are looking oh particularly lovely this day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope, hope you will take fondly of me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be creeping. Is he flirting with me? He's almost as old as my father. Oh, yeah, we were right to give him the trap voice. Creep alert. Creep alert. <laughs> Creep alert. <laughs> so what have we got here? How old is she supposed to be? Like 16 or whatever? Uh, we're 14 now in the run-up to our 15th birthday. And how old is that dude? He's like 30. It's like oh twice our God. age. <laughs> so, Maybe even older, so I don't know. Up. Ew. So. He held her when she was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so our mood right now is that we're quite lonely. Uh, we're lonely and afraid. <laughs> we're lonely and afraid. So, well, we don't need Banyan, that's for sure. So, what can we do to improve our well? The, tr the, the trouble with Banyan or Banyan is that he, um, he leads the he, he is one of the people that can potentially lead the rebellion against us. So, we got to keep an eye out for that slimy greaseball. Um, we might not want to necessarily be as afraid as we are. So a crafty prey might be able to make us less afraid, I guess. That'd be good. Um, so our skills. Um, we got we're in full swing for uh conversation skills. Uh. So I think. Flattery for one. Flattery, f flattery for one. Um, what else? Um, let's see. Um, I guess public speaking and court manners. Um, I guess so. That's as good as anything else we need, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, we've got a new outfit. Okay, okay. It's go time. Oh, no, we lost Chow. Oh, we lost Chow. Oh, he's back. Oh, Chaz back. So, it's go time with the Ixionites. Oh, Representative gosh. of the Ix Ixion is here. Careful, no one wants to give up prizes they've won. You have the full support of my sister and myself, your highness. Hmm. Let's get this over with. <laughs> I, I, I think she's a marriage option as well. Oh, balls. Your Royal Highness, wow. thank you for granting me this audience. I'm sure we can come to an amicable agreement. Boy. Let bygones be bygones now. We will forget about your unprovoked attack on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. We can be good neighbours again without any lives being lost. Shit house. Ah. Oh. This is hard. We don't have not nearly the type of brain power required for this kind of negotiation. Ah, uh, right. I don't want to do anything drastic to escalate, right? Chat, do you want to do something drastic to escalate the situation? <laughs> um, Offer money? I don't know. We have plenty of money we didn't spend on the books right <laughs> that is true but we're not particularly strong in military anything right now too so what about bluff and intimidate i mean we do have 
speaking skills. We do. But we don't have composure. Uh, shit. I'm I'm inclined to say cough up the money, but bluff and intimidate is an option that we might not succeed at. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, I I don't think I think all the other ex, all the other ones are more militaristic sort of things, you know. Mm. Well, we if can surrender it. And... Surrendering it is just giving it back away for free. Offering money, we lose money, and we don't have much businessy skills. Bluff and intimidate, mm. or execute. I mean, we can technically do any of these options. I know we can, but it's, it's how does it set things in motion? You know. Mm. Well, Mr. Apples wants us to execute him, but that would lead <laughs> to a war. We we almost certainly know that will lead to a war. What about, what about peaceful peaceful exchange of money? <laughs> All right, she'll try and buy him out. Sure. Okay, that's not acceptable. All the land north of the river belongs to us. We are willing to offer some payment. Some payment in exchange for the inconvenience you've suffered, but nothing more. Uh, 8,000 gold lassie. You're fucking robbing us, mate. Ouch. That's well, an awful lot war. of money. I mean... We can't get into any well. more wars. Ugh. Just give it. I don't care. I don't know. I still think it's worse having a war. It probably is. You know. All right. Although we might have screwed ourselves over regardless already. We'll use magic. Just we'll make a money. deal with the worst magic lord you can get. <laughs> and that'll <laughs> that'll fix our problems. I'll solve everything. Negotiations like this is stressful. Yeah, you're right. But we done yeah, it. Yeah, they are. But you're only 14 years old! God. You don't even have a prefrontal cortex developed yet, and you're already making decisions about... The world? Nations. <laughs> yeah. Cut yourself some slack. This is not the kind of thing a 14-year-old should face. <laughs> so... Honestly. God. We have a new outfit. A tea dress. Yep, that's good. That'll boost some of our skills for us. Um, I mean, what, else are, what are we supposed to strengthen? I mean, all we strengthen is intrigue, faith, and conversation. I mean, is it worth doing, like, expression or anything physical at this point? Or lumen or something? Well, no. yeah. There's a, there's a bonus straight out of medicine, but... Well, there are two the There are two ways that we can get... There are three ways that we can get a lumen crystal. We can either... Use economics to get into the vault, or we can use composure. And we should be looking at getting into composure. Now let's check the mood chart. So if we wanted royal demeanor to go up, we would need to be yielding. That's the only bonus we get, yielding. Yielding, huh? Yielding. Okay, so let's... Let's do one more in public speaking and one more in court manners. And then we'll see what we can do. Oh, and let's do a save. Okay, what well, we've got bonus lonely. Okay, there are reports that a key thong has been sighted leaving the old forest. Uh-oh. What's a key thong? A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. That's a nasty beast. Eek! Eek! <laughs> Several disappearances in southern Calaris have already been thought to be the work of this creature. No! for your life. What do we do? Should we send hunters? 
Well, the traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. Hunters are no match for such creatures. You would only make it angry and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people? Well, everyone dies in the end. Oh my god. Wow, wow, wow. How's that affected our mood? Probably. Oh, hold on. I don't seem to be able to click. Oh, there it is. Um, what's our mood like then? Uh, we need to be willful. Um, willful and lonely. Okay, I'm gonna. We should definitely leave the key thong. Yeah. Oh well, mm, we don't have to, but it's certainly, um, it's certainly like a t you know, an advice. It's a po it's a good policy advisory, I think. Um. Now our skills. They're currently doing very well in, in public speaking and court manners. We could probably max out public speaking and court manners. Yeah, let's do that. Right, there's a woman here to see us. She wishes funding for a project. Thank you for seeing me, your royal highness. I come to you on behalf of the peoples. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen affected with disease can be brought for treatment. Putting all the sick, sick people together, wouldn't that make them die even faster? We are not interested. Brutal. Oh, that's rough. Not interested in a hospital being built for six peop for sick people. What apathy? <laughs> um, how do we feel pressured? Not cool. Mm. So if we go willful lonely like so, there we go. Now bollocks. Bollocks, it was cheerful, not willful, wasn't it? No, it was yielding. Criminal. Yeah. Criminal. I did the wrong one. I did it on accident. Willful is a minus two negative. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um, now we're wicked willful. Oh, no. Okay. I screwed this up a lot. You, can uh, you go back? <laughs> You did save it. <laughs> I can. I saved it on week 10. Okay. Alright, so we can do public speaking court manners again. Um, and we want... Pressured... Pressured and well, we want the yielding. And the only thing that gives us yielding is attending court. Ah, and we're back to being depressed again. Um. So we might as well go back into faith, I guess. Bit of divination and law, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Sorry, Matt, you were very quiet there for a second. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just moved the microphone for a second. Oh, okay. Alright, let's run with that then. Let's see what happens. Okay. 
Um, so we need yielding. Doesn't help too much. Because it just brings you... Uh, oh, hang on a minute. We do have yielding. Which means royal demeanor is up. Composure, oh, elegance, presidents. Yes. Yes. There we go. Oh. oh, have you got some laundry to do? I'll be back in a couple minutes. Yep. Okay. Cool. So we have yielding. We have yielding good now. Sweet. Close. Well, we we have yielding a little bit. Yeah. Bonus oh, room. okay. We are requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. Your Highness, this Latin dares to beg pardon when she admits she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Um, uh, give me one, s one moment. Um, um, sorry, I'm just adjusting some volume things a second. Okay. Um, I'll hop away for a second here. Cool. Right back. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay, can you just count to ten for me, jo uh, Josh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So you should be a bit louder now, hopefully. Um, okay, good. So, yeah, right. Back on to Kevin and the Earl of Lowe. Right. Uh, Your Highness, this dat slatten deg... Um, Hang on, find the right window. Okay, good. Your Highness, this slatten dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? Corisandi, the Duchess of Mead. Is she all right? She is unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's justice, it is. Them devils killed me brother and broke me mam's heart. Lied to her, they did. When she said they went... <clears throat> I always get this one mixed up. Uh, lied to her, they did. When she went to see why he'd not come back, said he'd gone for a sailor, when he never would. He weren't the only one, neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. Fast justice it is. You see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. I don't know what all of this is about. Either way, murder is a serious crime, but... Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, thanks for the, uh, the subscription there, Dirty Corno Mags. And also, wonderful username. Uh, unemployed Noob Gaming says execute. Um, what would happen if we put her to work? Not much. I think that's the, the general soft option. But look, Earl of Lowe doesn't like it. Would the... Mr. Apples wants us to put her to work in, in the Navy. What do the nobles think of putting her to work? Do they have an opinion on that? Well, not a strong one, but Kevin Earl of Lowe then is more encouraged to rally uh, uh, rally the, the opinions of the, f the fellow lords. Hmm. 
Maybe we just take unemployed noob gaming's advice then. Eye for an eye, executor. All right, we can do that. Yeah. Okay. You do get to unlock a few other options when you have internal um, intrigue and that kind of stuff. But okay, we'll go with execute. As she is clearly guilty, her life is forfeit. She will be hanged in public as a deterrent to other criminals. You will not have me! All of a sudden, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. <gasps> oh no! In your court dress, you are unarmed. You grope okay, for a weapon and find only a heavy golden ornament with which you hurl in her direction. Your missile flies wide of its mark. Before you have a chance to do anything else, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless bloody lies bleeding on your carpet. Get that out of here. Put it on display so everyone sees what happens to criminals. Right, we could do something cheerful and yielding. That would put us even closer to yielding. Okay. So we, we might as well put two points into presence. Okay. Um... I guess, since, yeah, that, that, that seems to be by far the best option, I think. Presence, presence, a very useful skill. And also, while we're here, do a quick save game. Now, we've been failing a lot of skill checks lately, but fortunately, none of them have been important. You generally typically <laughs> fail quite a lot of uh, checks in this game. So, we'll do two in presence, so we can start becoming a bit tougher in our character. As you're walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound. Look up and see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. Divination success. An owl in daylight with a dead leaf. Someone important will die in the next few months. Now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? Crafty prey? Yeah. Okay, composure and elegance, I think, is okay. ideal. Oh, and we've unlocked a new outfit. Okay, so remember that the Festival of the Good Lady is approaching. Okay. Yeah, that's that's effectively what we're doing now, uh, Mr. Apples. We're putting as many points into... Like, presence is, you know, very much the poison grace. We are, we are becoming a... Um, Smooth talker. So, remember that the Festival of the Good Lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. A grand ball. They'll be dancing. As queen, you'd be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting. Possibly give How a speech. Um, pretty well, Matt. Pretty well. So, basically, we've managed to get up to where we need to be. That's good. Um... Okay, can you just give us a quick sound check? Because I've just okay. been messing. Hello, hello, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. I see. Okay. L um, let me know in the chat if the sounds are off, but I think that's generally okay. Okay, so we're we're running. We're coming up to the. Um, Festival of the Good Lady. So it's the, f the festival part. So we need to give a speech. We don't have to go. But. Okay, so we don't have to go. We can decide to stay at home. But in order to garner the morale of the people, we should probably go out and give a speech. Okay. There's a letter for us as well. It's from Bryony. I went to school with her, but she's a couple of years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come for the holidays. Apparently her uncle Kavan, 
that was the guy that we were dealing with in the trial, who we pleased by cutting off the head of that, that woman. But Kavan has been acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. Oh god. So if we actually put Pencil. her to if we actually put her to work, um he that he gets angry at us, but he's not angry at us, so She's bored and looking for adventure. Well, I don't have anything to suggest to her. We're not going searching for the key thong. That's for damn certain. <laughs> um, you can, Probably but... not. No, we don't <laughs> want to do that. So... We can, we can attend the service again. New outfit. Definitely want to be in the coronet. So... Composure and presence, I think, is... and Well, elegance isn't... You know, we can't leave elegance behind, but... We'll do a save. Okay. <laughs> the Duke of Calories, of course. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Um, we're moving on up. Okay, so today is the procession of the uh, Festival of the Good Lady. Will you be leading the parade? Yeah, let's lead the parade. And make a speech. Should we do it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parader ever. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion. Walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword. Being a lady and all. But we do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. Big stick. Oh, we failed decoration. We failed elegance. Bollocks. Oh, no. We're not elegant enough. That's because we didn't do elegance. Well, we did presents. Can't win all the battles. You know? No, but we could have won that one. <laughs> uh, at the end of the route, you help the priestess turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. After the blessings are read, you hold up your hands and call for silence so that you can speak. Hey, Boy. we passed the public speaking. Yay. My affectionate greetings to you all nice. and my thanks for it is the people that make this domain great. We are here to celebrate the gifts of the good lady and promise fertility and new birth. Winter always comes, but winter is followed by spring. Each of us faces hardships, but we grow back stronger than ever. Now is the time for new beginnings and for my beginning as your queen. Your words are met with great applause. The procession regroups to return to the castle. Guys, can I be can I be a complete bastard and reload? <laughs> and try and, to pass the first skill check. Pa yeah, right, because this is one of the reasons. One? Yeah, probably should. We'll do elegance. We'll do composure and elegance, I think. We could just do Hopefully put two... that's enough. Well, fuck it, let's put both in elegance. Because well, they're going in elegance eventually. Okay. It's not, yeah. So we'll definitely pass it. Um, yeah, it's worth it. It's worth retrying there. And we've got the bonus for it. So it's going to bolster us up to 80. Okay. So we'll go to the parade and make a speech. Okay. Let's do it. Elegant success. Elegant. There we go. Public speaking success. Excellent. Double pass. Okay, so we need to talk to our dad about what happened to... Um, uh, right, yeah, we've got to talk to... What, what happened to mum? She was a Lumen, a magic user. It was meant to be in reserve to defend our domain, but she insisted on doing magic basically she used magic it drained her strength she thought it was harmless and it wasn't eventually her heart just stopped that's why i don't want you involved in it um okay composure and presence i guess is the class is best taken at this stage okay Are we ready for the grand ball? Oh boy. All the nobles we in the domain are here to see you. To see their we queen. Need to dance with. 
<laughs> oh, shh. We can't dance either. Oh, we finish no. dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. Oh, boy. All around you, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Present <laughs> success. Yay. You let your eyes rest upon each in turn, as you have been taught, and impressing upon them that you are not a child, but a queen. <laughs> your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. Oh no. Creepy old guy. Well, he's, he's, he's our dad and he's sort of doing us a solid by making us not have to dance on our own. So he guides us gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look on his eyes is so sad. He's so sad. He's like my little girl's all grown up, but she's only 14 still. <laughs> After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kaigal alone has brought three eligible sons all near your age. All near your age? I'm not marrying them Fresh. all. Fresh meat. <laughs> you look around your room at all your possible partners, which is to say everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want and you will not and be you denied. you will not be denied. You have all of the control. Oh, but we failed intrigue and court manners. So if we passed intrigue, we wouldn't at all that court malice test. We'd know who <laughs> all, all these, these people were. Look at all these options. <laughs> so, chat, now's your time to uh, chime in. So I think I can <laughs> work out... Scandalous. I think I can work out who this is, right? So someone will marry... The, the really, really old dude who brought his sons, I think someone who is already married is, is that guy's wife and she's the safe option so if we don't want to dance with anyone we'll dance with this dude's wife someone scandalous I think is like the priestess someone older than us is that old guy who brought all his sons someone younger than you and someone about your age I can't remember um, I don't know if any of these people are Excellent naval leaders, but Adair is 12. <laughs> so he probably likes... Well, he likes frogs. <laughs> um, do, we have, do we have anyone who we want to marry? Uh, well, someone with a fast car is not, not, not an option. Do we have someone with a big army? <laughs> Do we have somebody we can smooch to get in control of their army on our side? Yeah, who's? I th I think who's got a big army is pretty much <laughs> top like of my dating somebody, list. Somebody older than you. That's like such a wide range. How do you know? <laughs> it really is. Okay, well, someone younger than us is a dare. Dirty corner mag says endorses him because he'll likely be a na great naval commander. He might be. I mean, he likes frogs. <laughs> okay. And he won't judge us for our bad dancing. He'll just be embarrassed by us. Okay. Let's... Okay, let's... let's cradle snatching time. <laughs> he may be too young to hold a title in your own right, but you are not the youngest noble present. That honour falls to a dare. The young lord of Elath, who is only 12 and a head shorter than you are. Next to him, you look positively adult. And now it's turned into a middle school dance. Oh, hello, <laughs> Elodie. Look He's absolutely terrified, the poor kid, at the prospect of having to dance with a girl. <laughs> <laughs> but the little lord is too well-bred to refuse you. Still, you have to be careful not to step on him. He's like, I'm going to do this nice thing for somebody younger than I am. <laughs> dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him. Yeah. You knew his steps little. Now every move is a mystery, and you're stepping wiping gooey the, stuff off your sleeve. Stepping into the unknown. <laughs> Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps... Oh, no! Oh, well, we didn't take dancing, so... Oh, yeah. Um, between the dances, it's time for the guests to mingle. Uh, chat and sample tiny bits of exquisite food. <gasps> but we've passed court manners and flattery. You interact comfortably with your peers, leaving a wise word in every ear. 
Nice. You, nice. You notice that Fabian, the elderly Earl of Titan, is not looking entirely well. Could this have something to do with the omen that the owl brought you of death and disruption? Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, no. They're going to be a... Fabian is the father of and regent for Adair, the young lord of Elath. The boy is only 12 years too... The boy is only 12 years too young to assume his full title. Oh, foreign intelligence failed. That's not bad. Tragedy oh, no. has been a common visitor to the Elath line. His mother, Kaylee, died in childbirth, and her mother and sister when Kaylee herself was a very young girl. Yikes. If Fabian dies before Adair is of age, there will be a succession crisis in Elath. Boom, boom, oh, no. boom. Dun, 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 dun. Well, the gods gave us a sign, so we should probably talk to them. Yeah, we, sure. we don't actually get this option. Um... Unless the, yeah, well, this is the first time I've had this option, so public Fabian. speaking court manners flattery success or nice, Lord Fabian. Might I have a word with you? I'm concerned about the future of your son Adair. Your mother's death has made it clear to me that we are all mortal and solid plans need to be in place. Really? You worry for a moment about the hob man will take such a subject, but he only sighs and nods. Some of my family would claim that I have already lived forever and could continue to do so. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone's optimistic. But the mornings grow cold. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope to see Adair become a man, but I know that it may not happen. Should my time come, it would please me to know that he was in your care as your future husband. What? What? Oh boy. Uh, was that oh, not what no. you had in mind when you danced with him? Get him young, train him how you <laughs> want him. <laughs> Take advantage of him while they're young. Didn't work out so well for me with my Kaylee. May the gods protect her soul. But the two of you could be the start of something new, young and fresh. The both of you, plenty of years ahead. Oh my god, he's totally moving in on this. Well, he hasn't got many years left, so he's like, married, go on. Quick, quick. He's like, I want to see it before I die. <laughs> If that's not your plan, then leave. please leave him with his stepmother, closest thing to family he'll ever have. He pats your hand. Good little girl, you are thinking of me. Like what Yoda. will come will come. It's a monastrophe. Adiris comes running up to his father. Dad, I got punch on my shoes. Oh, you leave them to deal with that problem. <laughs> okay, so Adair's kind of cool. All right. Doing a lull, doing a lull in the music. Banian, ah, oh, that bastard. He's at it again. He's up to something. He's up to something. Little, he's the little finger of the uh, of the kingdoms here. Right. So he taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out throughout the room. If I might have your attention, please. <laughs> I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her okay. words of wisdom guide us through our difficulties. Everyone applauds politely. Golf clap. <laughs> As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwenelle, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only mo months older than you, and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lila, and a fierce sportswoman. She was already a few years ahead of you at school, and the absolute terror on the ball fields. Absolute terror. No Bryony, she said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together, the Duke Consort clutching his Duchess possessively tight. Oh boy. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being <laughs> so close by. Oh, we failed the magic. Oh no. It's nice to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? Not going to sense something greater going on because there's not enough magic. Not enough magic. Hmm. I don't know what to do with our mood. Um. 
Okay, well, we can go Duchess of Ursula again. She's basically saying we have to break into the... Okay. We'll find a way in. Um, and we're still yielding, which means we can do composure and presence again. Yes. And save it. Awesome. So... Um, composure and elegance definitely seem like the ones we want to do again. Okay, so you wander downstairs to visit your father about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realise your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. companion. <laughs> I remember this part. You are it's too like kind, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Countess Serene, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. senior. Far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not as old, not at all old, as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. <laughs> oh, but you take a deep breath. <sighs> Release all the tension. Ooh. Uh, well, we don't have the dexterity to trip her as she passes. We do have some presents. We can greet her politely. Probably should just do that. I think we could shame her with some silent scorn. Because we've got presents. Okay. We could... Okay. We can do that. I don't know. What, what do you think is best to do? If I play the app. <laughs> oh, okay, I can't see our skills. Um, I think Shamer with Silent Scorn is our best chance at a passing skill check here. Okay. You meet your eyes, you meet her eyes, and imagine your mother's disapproving presence behind you. Present success! Her colour pales, and she releases her grip on your father's arm, <laughs> mumbling an apology before hurrying out of the room. You have defeated, you have defeated her. her! Defeated you have in, her! You have introduced shame into her life. You win. We just glowered her. Oh my god. Yeah, how many 14 year olds wish they had that kind of confidence? Right, to glower someone out of a room. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, Mr. Apples, uh, place her gently in the trebuchet and launch the lever. With the glower glowering that we've given her, she will be launching herself out of the trebuchet, I can assure you. <laughs> Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman. <laughs> Nothing more. You're trying to replace mom. She wants something more. She wants more passion. And it's not going <laughs> to happen anytime soon. They're talking about passion, definitely. You should be careful how you deal with people like Serene. You need the goodwill of nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Presence. <gasps> I'm paying attention oh, no. to what's around me. Oh, if we pass that oh, intrigue God. test. She got all freaking angry. God. Oh, dear. That didn't help her cause. It didn't. But we can visit the treasury. Yes. Present success. Good. We order the guard. We're just, we are just bossing it up, really. You order the guards to stand aside and walk forward as your head, with your head held high. None of them dares to deny you access to your own treasury. Ah. The, gl uh, the glitter is dazzling, but some sixth sense draws you towards one little locked box in particular. This is what you need. This is the crystal that will make you a lumen. You tuck the box into your pocket. You can show it to your mentor later and get instructions on what to do next. Excellent. So what's our skill sheet look like? I mean, it's pretty good. Um, I can't... Um, I 
I guess we could top up Royal Demeanor and then... Yeah, we need to cap out Royal Demeanor because it's giving us a penalty to Lumen. So we'll do Elegance and Composure Presence. Elegance and Composure. Okay. I guess. Yeah, I'll see that. <coughs> Water bird. Yeah. And then we can move on to... <laughs> well, we need to keep our glowering um, points uh, certainly up. But Composure is also good because that stops us losing our cool. And there's someone who really wants us to lose our cool later on in the game. Okay, so we are fully composed and we are fully elegant. Nice. Okay, it's time to decide any adjustments to the royal budget. Hmm. So you can actually do some pretty nifty accounting here, but since we didn't put any points whatsoever into accounting, we're gonna. I think we're better off just raise taxes because we did buy or we did pay a load of money to not have that war. So <laughs> yeah, we gotta raise taxes. Price of peace, I guess. And also, we may have some tariffs because we didn't marry the Duke of Talaris. Um, okay, so now that we've finished studying, let's go to Juliana, Duchess of Ursel. So we got it. What do we do now? Pick up the crystal with your bare hands, press it against your chest over your heart, and say, Illuminate! Do it. Okay, here we go. Illuminate! Oh my god, look at that. CGI cutscene. Whoa! Whoa, it's look like at those graphics! Like... <laughs> Silhouettes! You feel dizzy, both Something larger and like... lighter than you were before. The crystal has disappeared from view, but you know where it is. You know where it is. <laughs> you know where it is. Wow. The priestess here is a friend of mine. I will come to you uh, to your lessons in the faith and train you to use your powers. Hmm. Okay. Good, good. So, and and we've just lost our what it was um, yielding which means we can start putting points into I guess now Lumen now Lumen what kind of skills do we, I'm just going to check the mood gra uh, chart for Lumen so Lumen requires willfulness <coughs> okay so we need willfulness Um, and yielding is a big penalty for us. Okay, so we can now learn Lumen. Better put two into Sense Magic. That tends to be the most useful early on. Okay. Okay, good. And um, we just build. We'll build up our magic powers until uh, we need them. So that way we don't have to worry too much. Oh, and I'm wearing the outfit again. Still, it's a bit of a shame. <laughs> Okay. <gasps> oh, we are requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of murder by strangling his wife. Wait, a man has been convicted of murder by strangling um, his wife. Yeah. <laughs> he does. This, <laughs> this sounds kind of funny because I hyphenated everything. He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me and the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestess to blame, bless me and make me clean again. Oh, we failed the sense magic. Unemployed noob gaming once execute. 
Okay, pardon prison execute. So, what do we have here? We've got Dirty Corno Mags wants us to imprison him. I think we've already executed someone, so we should try something else. <laughs> Variety is the spice of life. Um, well, I know the actual... See, you know, I know... I, I know that it was Magical Beasties made him do it. So pardoning him actually is okay here. If we'd have sensed magic, th we might have had a shot. But we don't. We left it too late with magic. We decided to go down the religious route instead. Um... Yeah, I think generally speaking, pardon him, uh, Mr. Apples is probably the most... Well, we've got one for each, really, haven't we? So, I, I would go with pardon, but then again, I know out-of-game out knowledge. Charidon yeah. wants us to execute him. I would say I pardoned him, but I don't know. Matt, Chow, what do you, what do you guys think? I would say pardon him. I would say that too. Okay. Yeah. I'm very sorry for your lost. The monsters are responsible, not you. Don't blame yourself. The priestess of the royal grove will take care of purifying you. Bless you, your majesty. Okay, not... Okay, well, um... So we need willful and... We need to bring that cheerfulness down. So, willful and lonely. Depressed. Minus... Oh, go to church. Get a minus one cheerful. Okay. I don't know. What could we do? Yielding. Uh, we don't want yielding. We want willful. What is going to the grave give? Uh, depressed and afraid. Um, it pushes us broadly in the right direction. Um, oh, but the, just going to the treasury gives us plus one willful, with zero penalties. Um, okay. Yielding, depressed, pressured. Then we could do that in combination of exploring the castle maybe later. Possibly. Yeah. All right, we'll do the treasury. Um, she's still cheerful, but... So um, now we know we have 4,000-something lassie. <laughs> yes, we have a great boost to our conversation skills, although we do need to get our magic up and running, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. So we'll do some resist and wield magic. We'll build them up together as, as we kind of have to. Okay, oh, Alice, right. My lady, there's a letter for you. Who sent this? It isn't signed. It appears to be a poem describing you in a manner that is entirely, entirely inappropriate for a for queen. A queen. <laughs> I? What? With a squid? Oh my god, ew. <laughs> We've seen this before. Um, the, I think the only thing that changes is the mood check. I so, think we should say that's terrible so we're less happy. Yeah, I think we actually need to be a bit or we can not take ourselves so One seriously. angry. Who writes his garbage? And then a breeze swirls in and blows it ah, out of our hands and into the sky. You stick your head out the window to discover the poem caught fluttering on a roof nearby. You can almost reach it and we will ignore it. Oh, God. We're not yeah, stu don't. We're not Ignore gonna... it, otherwise we, like, yeah. fall off. Don't. What's the worst that could don't. happen? Someone gets a laugh out of it. Okay. Yeah, don't take it so seriously, you know. Right, so we want to be willful and depressed. Um, willful and lonely. Yeah, okay. The, the willful and lonely is quite good. It gives us two willful there. Um, de defeated by a piece of paper, indeed. Um, 
faith and l I think we should stick with our magic plan I think for now sounds good okay we'll do a quick so I'm gonna save down to us break into our second game and uh, so yeah that's it Right. Uh, oh, okay, so uh, Yoslin regrets to inform us that Fabian the Earl of Titan and Duke Regent of Elath has passed away. It's a very old dude. Oh, we okay. expected that was coming. With control of Elath in doubt, it falls to the crown to make decisions. Young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Aris, the Duchess of Lila, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighbouring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Mm. Almost the entire eastern border. Oh, we're, our idiocy is catching up to us. Right, um, I don't know anything really bad about her, though. Yeah, but she's a bit like, you know, she, she, I don't know, like, I, don't, I wouldn't trust her. She's got ambitions. The boy does have a living <laughs> grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar, or you might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. The Earl of Ishtar has suggested another possibility. You and Adair are both young, not too far apart in age. He's what? Did, what did they say he was? Two 12? years younger. He was two years. Yeah. Yeah, so he's 12, we're 14. All right, well, considering the options on the table, we could do worse than Adair. He requests that we keep the boy is your future husband uh, and keep him here at the castle I talked to the late regent at the gala about this and this is what he wanted for his son's future he wanted me to marry Adair or else leave him with his stepmother so do we have any thoughts um I don't think we're on such bad terms with the nobility that we can expect a rebellion, but we've been playing a reasonably shrewd game up until now, and it could all fall apart, and we don't have the magic to to fight a war. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, unemployed new gaming. Execute him isn't an option here. Well... <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Dirty Corno Mags wants to marry him. Uh, so, I actually, I do think that if you send him to his grandfather, he does become at risk of assassination. He does, I think. Yeah. I think there are other other circumstances that come into play, so it's not as easy as you know A plus B equals C, but we're certainly putting him in a high risk zone. If we send him to his Aris, he'll be safe. And we won't have to worry about him. But he's got a pretty big kingdom. Like this is like Robin Aaron from Game of Thrones kind of territory. We could we could work with this. I th I think I think marry. I'm I'm leaning to marry him. I think that would work out too. Because I don't I don't think like Banian is is a potential marriage. We could set up the woman, but I think there need to be more complicated things in, you know, different wheels in motion. So, yeah, let's marry him. Okay, I'll marry him. At least that way I won't get stuck with an old man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can't actually marry him until he's old enough, but he will be brought here to live as your companion. Hooray! Build some intimacy first. <laughs> yeah, we got well. To be fair, I suppose like we've got plenty of time. Like we won't have to get married until we're oh, like yeah. twenty-two. So, you know, we got like a few yeah, years. But you're already able to lead your entire country when you're fourteen. Yeah, but I mean, I don't think people are going to be too upset if we decide in two years' time to call it off, because then I'll be a ripe old age of sixteen. You know. <laughs> it's an so, interesting culture we live in yeah um so we need to become less cheerful alright I gotta I gotta grab my laundry again I'll okay 
Um, Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> well, it's week oh. 23, so... <laughs> um, okay, so if we go to... What, one de depressed and afraid? Yeah. So if we go and visit our mother's tomb... You pay your respects to your mother's tomb and wonder if the same fate is awaiting is waiting for you. Well, I think we we know that it is. <laughs> but um <laughs> let's see. So we've got uh we've got some bonuses to Lumen at last. Good. Okay. Yes. And I think we can do I think we can put two into Sense magic, hopefully. Sounds good. We'll just save that. Okay. Oh, and we've unlocked a new outfit. Hooray! There is a woman here to see you. She is a musician and wishes crown patronage, which means money. Your Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in word and song. I have dabbled in musical styles from many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. Immortalise me in words? I wonder if she wrote that filthy poem. Uh, oh, we passed an intrigue. Nice. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful and dangerous. Okay, so the musician sings a little to demonstrate. Oh, she's actually pretty good. Okay, um... What do you think, Chow? Accept her or reject her? What do you guys think in the chat as well? Hmm. How, how expensive do you think it might be? Oh, uh, it'll be a nominal fee. A nominal fee. We'll be able to afford it, don't worry. Um. I don't... Sure. She might, I think she might be able to tell us something about what's going on right is that what they meant or is she, she a spy she does she is a spy but she can work for us so so generally there are more advantages with taking her on is that as opposed to rejecting her so we'll accept we can accept her as, as the court musician very well you can remain as part of the court i will do my best for you thank you sabine so we could be a little less cheerful And we can wear our Lumen outfit. Ta-da! Okay, so our skills are... Lumen, Lumen, Lumen. So we're up to 71 on Lumen. So I think we can put some points in Resist and Wield Magic now. Um, I'll save again. Let's... Let's go! Okay, how is Adair settling to life in the castle? I found him in the garden trying to catch frogs. I think he's still afraid of me. Oh, I'm sure you'll work things out. Excellent, that's a quiet week. A quiet week. Um, oh, well, let's talk to Adair. Hi Adair. Oh, hello Elodie. How are you doing? Okay, I guess. It's really quiet here. How come you don't have any more brothers or sisters? Oh. I don't know. Mama Reese says it's a noble's duty to have a big family. Well, not everyone agrees with her. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Should I kiss you now? What? Oh, you can if you want to. Okay, you bend over a little so is you can reach. The result is... Damp. Sorry. <laughs> oh, poor dear. He's trying his he's trying his hardest. This this must be even more strange for him than it is for you. He's lost a parent too, and now everyone else is making decisions about his life, including you. If you like, you can come to some of my classes or meet with the tutors that I'm not using that week. I mean, it's important for you to learn too, right? You're going to be the duke and a king consort like my father. Okay. 
Hooray! He's getting learned. Right, um... I think doing resist magic and wielding magic are still pretty good options here. Once we're maxed out with magic, there's very little that can get in our way. It usually then falls to the cost of the magic in question. So... Uh, staring up into the sky out your window, you notice a strange flash of light. <gasps> a falling star at that angle. That means war is coming to Nova. Ooh. Oh, no. At least it might. Not every sign in the stars is meant for me. Still, if there is war about to happen, this forewarning gives you time to prepare and build your strength. Hire more soldiers, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely hire more soldiers. <laughs> You make a note to have the recruiters try and get more soldiers ready for the army. Good, because... So, we have a pretty well-stocked army, truth be told. We, 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 we didn't get into that war that we could have. No rebellions. We're doing well. We're doing pretty... Pretty well, all, all things said. All things considered. All okay, things considered, we're not doing too badly. Okay, nip nip over to the treasury. And uh, what kind of skills are we looking at now? Okay, we can... Maybe some sense magic? Yeah, we can do some sense magic and I guess resist magic. Um, yeah. Oh, bull sack. Hold on. Okay, oh, no. I'm... <laughs> it, came, it got me up to 99 point whatever percent, and I can't have that. So... <laughs> because it's like you have to waste a whole turn to get up to 100 in case there's a 100 skill check. And there could very well be uh, such a skill check in magic. So what I'll do is I'll do two sense magics and then do a resist and a wield magic. Okay. And if we do them in that order... Then we'll get a hundred with in only f four skill checks. Okay, I have unpleasant news to report. Talaris, the Duke of Sedna, has instituted high tariffs and trade restrictions on the Elath border. He is jealous that we're marrying Adair. The business is disrupted, and there are growing shortages of supplies. <laughs> we did raise taxes. We did. We need to send emergency aid to keep the kingdom together, really. We're about to go into a war, and we don't want problems, I guess. That I, sounds reasonable. I think we should go for aid, yeah. Okay, then the royal treasury will pay to keep the people fed. Hooray! Okay, let's see. Uh, yielding, lonely, cheerful. Um, also, it just doesn't really move the needle too much. Okay. Um, so hopefully we can do resist magic and wield magic. And it should eke them up to a hundred. Yes! Hooray! Boom! There we go, boom. We're magicked up. Magic letters to the gills. And there are letters for us. Who are we going to blow up with our magic today, Alice? Another letter from Bryony. Why does she keep writing me? We were never even friends. <laughs> she says she's bored and lonely and looking forward to seeing me at Gwenil's birthday party. <gasps> Gwenil's about to turn 15. She's the Duchess of Sud Sudbury for real now. This other letter might be my invitation to a birthday celebration next week. Gwenil and I were friends at school, and this will be a big event, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. That's like Ooh. her internal monologue, I guess. You remember dreaming about a road through a dark forest surrounded by monsters like the Keithong your father told you about. Of course, the forest is nowhere near Sudbury. <laughs> oh, Balls in a bag. We know what's going to happen. We know what that's foreshadowing, don't we? Mm. Where did 
get eaten by that monster. Well, it's the bandits. The bandits. The the the, the beasts represent the bandits. Should we so... not? Should we not do it? Should we not go? We have magic. <laughs> we do have magic. Can we fight them off? I've saved it. Oh, okay. I guess it <laughs> All right, I'm going to save well, it again. Well, let's go and reload if if not. Let's see what happens. Let's go. It'll be good to see my friends. We're going to ignore a warning from the gods. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's never a good sign. So, what skills have we got here? Presence. Let's get our court manners and flattery up to scratch, I think. Okay. Because we'll be talking to some friends. Yeah. I think so. Court manners, flattery, and even actually, uh, tea dress. There we go. Let's see if we can talk our way out of this one. I'm gonna mute myself, but unplug my headset so I can hear you guys. Okay, sure. On your journey to Sudbury, your carriage is attacked by bandits expected <laughs> you look down in shock at the arrow which has buried itself in your side outside you can hear screams and curses but it feels unreal your world is centered around pain bollocks this is not going well you struggle with the arrow afraid to pull it loose you heard a story about pushing the arrows through the body so you brace yourself and give it a shove Unfortunately, this only drives the arrow deeper into your vital Ooh. organs through a turning painful wound into a fatal one. Turning a painful wound into... Ah. We done died. Ah. Dead. <laughs> we couldn't fix it. You saved it. <laughs> we died. So, we will send our regrets. Okay. We need to be quite yielding. Um, which skills help conversation again? Not that we really need them. Um, lonely and cheerful. Okay, lonely and cheerful. Okay. Um... We can still do some court manners and flattery. Um, and we can choose the tea dress. Okay. Flattery, court manners, good. Ah. <sighs> All of my friends are at Gwinil's party and I don't get to go. Oh, but we our uh, court manners gave us uh, perfect etiquette to, you know. At least I sent a note with my regrets and a gift. She will, um, and she accepted. So at least she's not upset. We can get together sometime after my coronation when things are less hectic. Okay. Hey guys, I'm gonna be heading out. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for uh, for joining us, Chang. It was good to talk to y'all. Yeah, awesome. Um, I'll see y'all next time. Cool. All right, catch you later, chat. Bye-bye. All right. So, let's see. We want to bring down the willful. Okay. So what have we got here then? Skills. Um, Matt, do you have any ideas on where we should go once we've maxed out conversation? Can you hear me if I'm like this? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I just might have an echo if, I, if you speak too loud. Um, I don't know. Should we focus on mystical and get that back up, or should we attack a new area like physical or... Expression. Hmm. Well, 
I'm not sure. Well, should we do some conversation pieces now? I don't know. It looks like we're kind of maxed out. Um, we have a bonus to agility and faith. Well, we could we could put some points in meditation and law. Yeah, I was thinking like what would go well with ones you already have. Like, would physical go well, or would history or something intelligence go better? Well, we have some bonuses. Oh, okay, take care, Mr. Apples. Uh, thanks for joining us. I guess that's right, Sheridan. We're using the old Jitsi for uh, for chatting. It's working quite well. Um, generous, uh, yeah, it's generally my go-to one these days. Um, so, yeah, all right, let's do some of that, and I will do another save. So, faith, faith, meditation, divination, law. Okay. Uh, I noticed you were looking over some military records the other day. I was just checking into how many soldiers we had available. If you're desperate to recruit more fighters, you could offer pardons to criminals in exchange for their service. Oh. Be careful though, some of them are dangerous and unreliable. That's why they went to prison to begin with. Let's do it. Let's. We're already playing with magic, so crime is, you know, a step down from that. All right, let's do it. Criminals probably already know how to fight. Very well. Uh, what's our mood? Uh, I mean, it's like put them to use regardless. You know, they're just going to sit in prison. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think if we go to dungeon, there'll be no effect. What about cheerful and lonely? Okay, so walk. Um, oh, hang on. I don't know if we necessarily wanted to do that. Skills. Lonely. Oh, well, we get a bonus to conversation. So I guess if we put. I don't know, a point into flattery and. point into I don't know um, lonely is not the best place to be I think if we just put hmm I suppose if we just do public speaking and court manners we won't have to wear the outfit anymore but we need to get away from lonely. So we've maxed out those. The Duchess of Mead is here to see you, my lady. Okay, cool. Uh, hello, Elodie. I'm sorry to trouble you, but have you seen Bryony? Uh, not since I left school. She shakes her head. Um, she's gone missing. She's not at school where she should be. I know she was unhappy, but I never expected. She wrote me a letter saying she was bored and looking for adventure, but that's all I know. Oh dear. I hope she hasn't done anything too foolish, my poor little lamb. I'll have to go look for her. Oh. Uh, what's my Jabber provider, uh, Charidan? I don't actually have one at the moment. Um, using Jitsi Meat. Um is just sort of the extent of, of how I use their service at the moment. Um, I do know that Linux Rocks has an XMPP provider. Um, okay. Uh, do you have any thoughts, Matt, on wh where where we should take our, our character direction? Where are we on the board? Oh. Well, we're still kind of lonely, so... We could definitely be more pressured. Um, we just don't want to be lonely. You can do no effect too. I mean, that'd be helpful. Just... Um, what have I done? I've oh, well done yielding. That's fine, I think. 
You can almost max out presence. I'm just done with presence and flattery too. You just have a no nothing for weapons, but you have a bonus to mystical now. To uh, meta, right? I have a bonus to royal demeanor, history, and faith. Yeah. I could do meditation and lore, I guess. But then, do we have any? Or we could do some internal and foreign affairs. Mm-hmm. Um. What does... In, intrigue is generally pretty good, isn't it? I mean... But it's a bit late for that, I guess. Yielding is good for... Uh, no, what's... Intrigue. Willful is good with intrigue. Um... Alright, let's try and do something with intrigue. We'll put two points in deciphering because we'll need to need that to open it up. Um. Okay, so as we are walking through the Great Hall, a freak gust of wind suddenly blows all the candles out in the room. Oh, an omen of war and danger. There's no sign of where the danger might be coming from, so there's nothing you can do about it. Perhaps it's nothing. So we want willful. Well, we'll just go to the treasury again, I guess. Now we're currently afraid. Um, oh, which gives us a penalty to intrigue. Um, but a bonus to faith. So I guess meditation and law, maybe? Is there an echo if I leave this thing unclicked, this microphone from you, or no? Um, I don't think so. It's, the noise cancelling seems to work well enough, I think. Cool. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're carrying on a little bit of a faith-based direction for now, because our bonuses seem to line up there, but I think we can... We can try and pull it back into... Intrigue, as long as we're not afraid. We need to be willful. 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 Okay, so things have been unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. We could hold a tournament. What a good idea. <laughs> Knights, jousting, musicians, all sorts of competitions. Everyone loves a contest. What will you offer as prizes to the winners? Uh, employment? Free drinks. <laughs> Free drinks. I think employment does add a few more troops to our, our navy, uh, our, our barracks. Wait, you're going to reward them with employment? Yep, yeah, I'm going to reward them with the privilege of working for oh me. Oh god. That's not a very fun prize. Hey, I'm a lovely queen to work with. Most ex <laughs> Very exciting. So, uh, the winners will have the option of taking up royal appointments. It's a recruitment drive. Very well, I will draft the announcement announcements. Excellent. As you move through the hall, your eye falls upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves oh. on one blossom have shriveled. <gasps> a leaf killed by a secret weakness. A hidden threat. You continue up the stairs to your, your room where a maid is waiting for you. My oh. lady, a gift has arrived from Kaigal. From uh -huh. the Duke. No, my lady, a merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Kavala River. You tear open the brightly coloured paper to find chocolate. There's a little card with the box with our compliments. The House of Crayolat. Oh no, cool. don't cool. eat it. Court man is success. That's oddly high handed for some tiny trader I've never heard of. Um, Don't eat it. <laughs> you could save it. We'll save it for later. I don't feel no, like candy right now. No, Maybe I mean, later. Save the game and then eat it and see what happens. Probably. Well, if we didn't have that divination check that we passed, we wouldn't have the option to save it for later. We'd eat it straight away without thinking. Oh, and we'd probably die. Maybe. And we die. So, being all gaudy has, has paid back. And we get to see 
Juliana, Duchess of Ursel. Oh. Uh, this, um, presumably. There's something I don't understand. What is it? Magical powers are connected to lumen crystals, right? That is correct. But I can make myself glow by concentrating the right way, and it doesn't feel like it uses the crystal at all. Let me see. You concentrate and your skin begins to glimmer. You're right, it's not proper magic, it's something else. Is that what? bad? She holds her hands above your shoulders, moving slowly along your arm down along your arms. I sense no danger. Ignore it, it's a distraction. Should we keep pushing? Like keep pushing to learn more? Yeah. There's a check, but I think we might pass it. Go for it. There are a million magical secrets I don't know, but I'm trying to learn. This one affects me personally. I need to know what's causing it. Well, if I had to guess, I suspect it has something to do with your mother's powers. Ah. She was already a lumen when she bore you. Some of that small trickle of that energy might have passed into you. So the daughter of an active lumen might have strange powers. That's hardly a power, it's a quirk. It's not worth wasting time on. Hmm. We need to not be so afraid. Don't be afraid. I don't know. Um. Ah. <sighs> I mean, we could top out our faith, but do we really want to, need to? Once you finish it off, you can focus on something else, right? I guess so. Meditation and divination. We'll do another save. We'll go back at least three weeks at any, any given time. As long as you have saves, if you can go back if something bad happens, instead of starting all over again. Uh, this is the week of the Grand Tournament. Nobles and commoners alike have turned out to compete against each other. The people oh, will be pleased if you participate in their games, however it would expose you to danger. Uh oh. What event do you wish to take part in? <laughs> uh, we don't have any skills! We are worthless! Your strength! We spent oh we spent most of our life learning how to bullshit people, and now it's coming back to bite us. Oh, okay. I, I. What's mounted parade? Is that just like showing off? It's presence. That's probably your best bet. You've got it no is. military or any other stuff, really. No, you know? not even music. Not even music. You've tried to. Ch okay. Might as well just be a stool for the parade. <laughs> so he, he chose to lead the mounted parade on a brilliant white horse. Oh yes, come on, presents. Well, we failed on horses, oh, no! but we passed on composure and elegance. You don't actually know how to ride, but the horse is well trained, so all you need to do is sit up straight, look regal, and don't fall off. All the winners are announced and displayed to great cheers. As near queen, you place flower garlands around their necks. Yay. All of a sudden, a man approaches the winner's platform. Uh-oh. It's oh, Kavan, shit. the Earl of Lowe. In one hand he carries an armoured gauntlet, in the other a sword. Oh no! My, my family's blood is on your hands? What? We executed that fella for you, literally just for you. Their blood is on your hands. What's he talking about? He casts the metal glove to the ground with a clatter and raises his sword, pointing it at you. Oh no! I challenge you, Elodie, a life for a life. Oh no! He's challenging us to a duel for no readily apparent reason. Wield magic, success. Doesn't he know you could burn him to a crisp just by waving your hand? Yeah, let's kill him with this kill. Let's kill him, kill him with, with magic. magic. Kill him with magic. Should we kill him with magic? Kill him with magic. What does the chat say? Fight, right? Should you well, save it? And see what happens? <laughs> um, we can save it. Save it as an extra. All right. Well, it, if you accept it, you're probably gonna die. Yeah. If you're, you're probably gonna die. Well, what I want to do is accept and then, once he's in the arena, kill him with magic. But if I was doing this without going back resaving, I'd just kill him with magic. Very well, I will meet your challenge. As the challenge party, you have the choice of weapons. 
Oh, balls. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> we, we have zero points in any of these. Bring me my sword. The crowd seems to realise this is uh, a blood match not for entertainment, or perhaps they do, as their cheering is all the louder for it. Kevin's rage fills him with great strength, but makes him erratic and unpredictable. Worse, he's armoured and seems willing to settle for nothing less than your death or his. Oh no. You score minor wounds against him, but his expression never changes, his speed never falters. And his face, his eyes, they're as red as blood, he's gone berserk, there's nothing you can do to stop eventually, you are overpowered, and kablam. Kablamo. Kablamo. Death by sword. Elodie did not survive to reach her coronation. We didn't expect so. What if he refused? So, uh, well, we can refuse. Okay, I'm not going to fight you, just... I want to see what happens when he refuses. Is he still okay. challenged? Right, I'm not going to yeah. fight you if you want me to. Unfortunately, it seems he isn't interested. That's not fair. We failed a Falcon's check, and we died. Oh my god! That was a lot more inhumane. But if we could have, the Falcon could have saved us if we had falconry powers. Right. But we don't, so we'll just kill him with magic. Oh, kill with magic. Kill with magic. Without a further word, you direct the full force of your magical wrath at the Earl of Lowe. There is a horrible scream and the smell of burning flesh. Oh man. I decline. <laughs> I decline after I kill you. <laughs> Kevin's sword falls to the ground beside his gauntlet. He won't be needing it anymore. He won't anymore because he's dead. After the tournament, a minor tragedy is revealed. One of the stewards apparently had an incredible sweet tooth and dared to steal a, a, a piece of your relative of your recently received chocolates. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, the sweet tooth, the chocolates were poisoned. The chocolates were poisoned. When you ask questions, it turns out that the merchant house was. Uh, which supposedly sent you this present never existed. <gasps> An assassin! Someone tried to kill you, but you don't know who. Mystery. Bastards. Don't eat people that give you chocolate as gifts. That's true. Right. Wow. Um, That's what happens when you challenge somebody with magic. You don't even need to know how to fight. You just incinerate them. So, uh, in order to... Um, uh, to jump forward on intrigue, we need to be willful. Okay. So let's see what we can do. So we can do a willful if... Okay. Um, but we have a penalty to intrigue right now. Huh. Um, we could do some decoration, I guess, or some instruments <laughs> or voice. Uh, do some history. I guess history. Well, here's the thing, right? So we got Lumen and we got... Or we got that stuff all all sorted. So what's the next best thing that would help? Would it be intelligence stuff? Yeah, I guess so. That's kind of where I'm going. It's like you either do everything gradually, or you strengthen one area first, and you start to strengthen something else. Mm. Well, we're we're strengthened with magic. We're strengthened with talking. So yeah, let's do a bit of history. Let's do the intellectual pursuits. I guess so. We we'll do two lots in foreign affairs, right? Oh, okay, Alice. Um, your father wishes to speak with you. He says it's urgent. Uh oh. Fine, I'm coming. Urgent. Your father. You find your father standing over a map of the coastline. His face grave. Ships have been sighted on approach from Shangia. Not trade ships. This is a war fleet. Oh no. What? Within a week, they will be in Novan waters. Within two, they could reach the capital. Then we will fight to defend ourselves. Oh no! You can try to use the treasury funds to hire additional... Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm actually gonna do... I'm gonna load and I'm gonna use a bit of out-of-game knowledge 
just to insert it in here. I don't want to go into history. I think that's actually a really bad move. I think we should go into expression. Yeah, I mean, that's still part of the same category as what we have. Uh... A social. But also, it does help with magic. So we'll do that. It might take a while to build up. Okay, so. Ships have been sighted on approach from Shangjia. Not trade ships, but this is a war fleet. Uh-oh. Within a week, there'll be a Nova Mortars. Within two, they could reach the capital. Then we will uh -huh. fight to defend ourselves. You can try to use the treasury funds to hire additional soldiers, but it may be difficult on short notice. Well, yeah. Troops, yeah. Fine, we'll do that. You'll need to draw up a naval strategy for our ships to carry out. You could choose to act as admiral and lead the fleet in person, but the danger to you would be very great. Well, you don't have any strength in military, so we have no to... strength in military. Our score is literally zero. <laughs> Unless you think your personal skills will make the difference, I would strongly advise against it. Yeah, so let's yeah. stay in the capital. <laughs> But you can use all your magic on <laughs> We could. But maybe that's the last resort if they reach the capital. Well, we decided not to go out on the fleet, so... Right. That seems we, best. We, I mean, we could have gone out there and used our magic. I don't but know, we're though. not going to. Okay, should we talk to Juliana, Duchess of Ursul? She might have a plan. Yeah. Yeah. That's only a good idea. I need to speak to you. What is it? The priestess, Celine, she's a lumen. I can sense it. I know. What do you mean you know? If you knew that, why didn't you tell me? You didn't need to know. Your job is managing the domain. Some of us have other duties. Our missions have been passed down for centuries, little princess. Law success. Where did she get a crystal? All the lumens in the domain were supposed to have been wiped out 200 years ago. Except for your ancestor. We are here to train you. You don't need to know any more than that. Okay. Order to explain? Yeah, that's order to uh, her to explain. Explain. Oh, yes, your duty is to me and Nova. Renegade lumens pose a threat to the entire domain. If there is a secret, a secret cabal of magic users, I need to know about it. There is no cabal. Selene and yourself and I are the only lumen that I know. 200 years ago, my ancestor accepted public disgrace so that no one trained lumen would survive when all others perished. We have borne that shame ever since to preserve the training and law and future of Nova. Do not tell me of my duty, princess. I am sworn not to queens, but to Nova. Queens die, the magic must not. Okay. Oh boy. Um, I guess we better do some instrument and voice then, I guess. Okay, so the game at the top is when we decided to go to war. <sighs> okay, danger on the high seas. Ships close in on each other, angling into range. The Shangians outnumber you slightly, but it could all come down to strategy. Oh, so we could have won this one if we actually had some strategy behind us. The eventual outcome? You're fucked. The Nova oh, ships no. are sunk or scattered as the Shangian forces press towards landfall. Many good soldiers were lost today and Nova's troubles have not ended. Oh no. Since you have failed to repel the invasion, the Shangian fleet will soon land and their troops will begin to progress towards your capital city. Oh dear. Oh. Your, rema your remaining soldiers will hold them off as long as possible, of course, but your main strength of your military has been exhausted. Nova's future looks bleak. Well, oh well, at least Adair hasn't been assassinated. Great. I don't know what we can choose at this point. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Oh, we've unlocked a new outfit. Okay, so the invasion of Nova is proceeding. Your coastline is under Shinjian control. Soldiers have marched through villages, trampling fields and frightening citizens. A diplomatic delegation from Shangjia has requested access to the castle to discuss terms, most likely for your surrender. You're, uh, you're, you lack the strength to hold off their armies, and surrendering now will save many lives. It would seem that you have no choice. It would seem you have no choice, but... You prefer yourself best you can with the representatives from Shanjia. You expected diplomats and a military representative, a general or an admiral. You did not expect the handsome man decked in jewels who now stands before you, a man announced by your servants as Tagami, King of Shanjia. Bollocks, bollocks. Is he really their king? Why would a king come all this way? Ooh, and a lumen too. My dear young lady, how difficult this must be for you. So much responsibility at such a tender age. Ooh, composure success. You yearn to slap the false sympathy off his oily face, but you force yourself to remain calm. War benefits no one, you think? Such a terrible waste. Better to settle things in a civilised manner. A contest, oh a game, so to speak, with Nova as the stakes. Should I win, then your domain will submit and accept me as overlord with no further resistance. Should I lose, then my army will leave your domain in peace and shed no more blood. What sort oh, of he's game? A lumen. He's a lumen too. He's a lumen. It's well known that New Nova is ruled by lumens. As it happens, I too possess the powers of a lumen. I propose a formal duel. My power's against yours. The winner takes control of Nova. The loser dies. You're gained oh. by your rules for my life. That doesn't sound fair to me. The rules of formal dueling have been passed down for centuries and must be upheld. It is important that we do this by the ancient codes. Why should I? If you refuse, then war will continue. I'll sweeten the deal. If you meet me in a formal lumen, formal lumen challenge, I'll call off the inv invasion, even if I win. Hmm. Oh, wait, but she'll die. I swear it by the gods, Nova will be free and safe. Why take that risk? You're winning the war. It's not your land that I want, it's your crystal. <gasps> oh. To gain your power, I am willing to wager my own. Shall we begin? Sense magic success. I can sense his power. He's so strong. Oh no. <laughs> I've learned everything I possibly could, but he's as good as I am. He's at least as good as I am. He's at least as good as I am. I don't like this, but what choice do I have? Should you save it? <laughs> uh... Do you think you can beat him? Do you well, fight him? See, here's the thing. I just noticed a law check go up. And I don't usually get a law check at this stage. So I've I've just saved it. I think we so, should I should think we should offer to give him our power. What if you fight him? <laughs> I I think we would lose. Probably. But our but our our, well, yeah, our lumen isn't. Isn't our lumen like full though? Yeah. Well, may maybe. I mean, we can always accept it, and if we die, reload it. But is that really? Fair? Well, this is a new option. This one in the middle. Oh, it is. Yeah. This. What is happens? One... What happens with the other two? Do you know? Uh, the the top one we fight. The bottom one we fight. This one I don't know. Oh. So I think we should at least your, offer it. Your power away, though. Yeah, let's. I, I I saved so that we could try this one out. Okay. Because I I don't know. Wait, there's another way. If you want my power, I can give it to you. You don't have to kill me or take the crystal. I'll let you do whatever you want with it. You would willingly submit to my every demand. Yes. Oh boy. Let us see. Uh oh. <laughs> he points a finger at your father. Join your power to mine and I will incinerate him. Then I will know that you are mine. Uh oh. I can't do that, affected by cruelty. And that's why we must duel. Oh wow. Uh -oh. I was too 
good. I resisted his evil magic by being too good. Well, now we have to pick one of these. <laughs> well, we have to accept his terms. Right, and then we must. Tagami explains the rule of formal dueling to you, including a carefully inscribed circle of wards which will contain the effects of any powers you wield, protecting bystanders from danger. And then, it's time to begin. You trade attacks, one spell sense counted by, counted by another, reserving your strength as much as possible. It might almost be exciting if your life wasn't on the line. You need to end this quickly before his experience allows him oh. to come up with a trick you can't defeat. He's used to dealing with magical attacks, but he might not be expecting a physical one. Perhaps oh no. if you rushed him, you could take him off guard up close. He couldn't use his fancy spells, but then what would you do? You still have to use magic to win. You can't just grab him and bang his head against the floor. Right. Perhaps you could focus your power into the shape of a sword and attack him with that, or maybe you could distract him oh. somehow and cast a spell. Right, so dazzling him uses... Decoration. Magical sword uses magical sword. We don't have anything in sword. So we need to dazzle him if we stand any chance of winning. Oh boy. Oh! Dazzled. Uh, uh, you throw a dazzling Ooh. shower of sparks, open a blind, blind him, and seize the advantage. It doesn't oh, we work. Didn't have the, we didn't have the decoration thing. Oh no. Uh, swirls of dark smoke rise from the floor at your feet, spinning around you like a black hurricane. You know you have to stop it, but how? It's all around you. There's nothing to oh, target. No. Faster and faster it spins, making it hard to breathe until finally everything goes dark. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he died from magic! Died from magic. Elodie did not survive. So, we so can go back in right? time. Yeah. We can go back in time to week 34. When we decided to um, not head the ships ourselves. Oh dear me, we're n not in a great position to do naval strategy. We can try and fight the battle with our magic. <laughs> That's what we should Wait, do. Wait, we, we can't, can't really do magic for that? You, the magic sword? Where's magic? on this whole list. Well, we have a penalty to weapons right now. Um, and the magic we've maxed out. We failed because we didn't oh, have we... decoration or a sword. Oh. So... Oh, decoration is sort of expression. Are we uh, So we can't put all the points in military because we're afraid. Otherwise, it wouldn't be bad to put a few points. Um... <sighs> I guess presence and present. I don't know. Presence and flattery are, are like the only presence and flattery are like the only ones. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with presence. I guess. Okay. So our father wishes to speak with us. It is about the ships that have been sighted. We wish to recruit shoulder soldiers. And we wish to direct the fleet. We will be directing well try it. the fleet. We might die, but... We might die, but YOLO. There is one more thing I hesitate to ask, but... An invasion. This is the sort of disaster for which a Lumen's power may be worth the cost. If the fleet could be destroyed before they reach our waters, many lives would be saved. I don't know of any magic that could sink a whole fleet. I'll have to talk to my mentor. You find the Duchess of Ursel in her guest quarters. A fleet from Shinjir is attacking us. Is it possible to sink them all with magic? It's easy enough to attack one soldier, one ship as a demonstration, but to obliterate an entire fleet? You would need an immense amount of power spread over a large area, more than wow. any one Lumen could control. Wait a minute. If you tried to raise that much power yourself, you would die. Not could, would. So it's hopeless. We'll just have to rely on our soldiers. Ah. Uh. 
Hold mm. on. Did you just visit Ur Ursul again? Um, Lumen. Oh wait, this is this is the same thing. It's the same thing, yeah. Okay. We don't really have much to do. Um. What have we got? Agility, faith. I mean, dance and reflexes, I guess. Okay, danger on the high seas. Ships close in. Oh, hang on a minute. No. We. Oh, hang on a minute. Your, your skill in long-range magic makes you as effective as a <laughs> cannon and more manoeuvrable, but there are far too many ships uh, for you to take. Yeah. The eventual outcome... Balls. Darn. Well... You've got no naval intelligence, so... Oh no! no you're s no. no. We you drowned? died! We drowned. We drowned in the... How? Hang on a minute. How? How did we not work out? Hmm. Um. That is interesting. Okay, so. Hmm. So we can recruit soldiers. We can direct the fleet. Let it go. And we drowned again. Damn! So we didn't find a way to stop using... Oops, I just quitted the game. Whoops. Um... <laughs> so... Alright. Um... So we died three times, didn't we? We died in the dueling the guy. We died and twice in battle. Yep. Um, damn, I thought we were going to use the magic to survive that, but for some reason um, our lumen didn't have our back. Maybe we just have to spread our skills wider. I don't know. I think I think we needed to be a lumen earlier on. I think we left it too late. We didn't scope out the other lumens that could have helped us. I think we I think we screwed up a little bit. Um Okay, uh killing with magic. So this is Kevin Earl of Low. Um Okay, I just wanted to check actually just to see if that section would actually have allowed us to, um, what's it called, open up earlier dialogue trees. Uh, okay, so, uh, ah, an unsuccessful run at, at Long Live the Queen. Damn it, damn it, I usually do better than this. Shame on me. Although we Sorry, were, playing, we were only playing with a mood guide, so... At least we, you know, we were, at least we weren't cheating. But um, we only missed out on a couple of skill checks. Um, if we built up our decoration earlier on, chances are we could have won the the duel. Um, yeah, we could have. We, uh, we had our options. Uh, we could have done more with military, definitely. Um, but the trouble is, military doesn't fare very well against. The num like having diplomacy skills stops you from getting in a lot of the conflicts in the first place. So yeah. it's it's not like you can just put all your resources into the military and then pick any fight with any anyone that comes your way because every battle takes so much resources away from your military, and it also yeah. takes, for example, uh, your um, 
your standing with the common people. Any war will take that down, often with nobility as well, depending on what happens. And of course, not to mention that many wars in in increase the possibility of assassins as well. So magic is usually the option uh, of people seeking the most power, I think, but this comes at a price. So I don't know, like there are ways to beat the game using only military might, but you have to be quite sharp. And still, it involves certain uh, certain ta tactical. I, th I think I think like I think focusing on magic early on, like divination of royal demeanor, is really important. But maybe you have to start to get into military earlier than we did. Well, the divination mm -hmm. saved our life on a couple of occasions. But it saved our life kind of like with some dumb luck. Like it saved us from the poison. But then so would our court manners would have saved us. Um, yeah. So Military I'd, skills and agility might have helped. Yeah, I think I think our biggest issue was that we wasted so many skill points in 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 the divine in in not not the lumen skills, but in the spirituality skills. And if we'd have put those in with Either the the navy, military, intrigue, some weapons, you know, almost anywhere else, and we would have won. I think it's just that we put too many points into a weak character build, really. Um, not a completely weak character build, just one that was too spiritual and not grounded enough in, in military matters, economics, trade, history, that kind of thing, I guess. Weren't, wasn't smart enough, basically. Our character was yeah. not smart enough. That's I don't know any of the tips, like what order you should do them in. Like, should you do military, then magic, like then decoration? But, yeah, well, hmm. this is it. You live and learn. And you uh, actually, just before we wrap up, I, I, I would like to have a look at the uh, title screen. Here we go. Um, our checklist, so our achievements. So we've not yet died in 11 different ways. We've not broken off an engagement yet. We've not faced a... I'm sure we faced a vote of no confidence, but evidently we haven't. We have not actually challenged someone to a duel. We've not discovered a terrible family secret. We've not made a foreign duke your subject. We've not paid a reward for killing a fugitive. We've not caused a couple to divorce. We've not romanced a commoner. Damn it, we want a bit <laughs> of rough. Uh, we've found a magic mirror. We've not found a magic mirror. We've not triggered an earthquake. We've not made Charlotte a lumen. We've not imprisoned your uncle. We've not willingly recruited an advisor. So... <laughs> but we have been crowned queen once. So... I'll probably be having another go at some point in the next week to try and get through this game with a different character build um, but I think I'm going to wrap up and, and, and go to bed uh, now because it is kind of yes. late and I've actually been streaming since like six-ish hours so um, so thank you guys down in the Twitch chat for joining me um, and I'll be streaming again shortly if not long live the Queen something else soon um, but thank you all for joining me. It's been a pleasure as always. Uh, I've been Chris, and I've been joined by my good friend Matt. And oh. Chow popped in earlier throughout the game. He did for a bit, yeah. He did, yes. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. And um, until next time, I've been Chris Ware. You've been awesome. Toodaloo. See you.